Hey, what's going on, Farm Simmers? How are you folks doing today? Welcome back to Georgetown. Guys, we've got a, uh, a little bit of a project going on up at the, well, the cabin. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too. We're heading up to the cabin right now. Go for a bit of a cruise, so join me, will ya? Uh, this <laughs> truck? Oh, yeah, it's so dark inside, though, I can't see. Um, we're heading up to the cabin. I got a small little project to take care of first things today. Nothing too crazy, just a little project, guys. But you can see, look at this. Fields are coming up already. Uh, that's looking promising. I was worried that those were going to give us some grief. In fact, I could see corn over on the far side. We replanted that uh, that dead stuff, and it seems like it's coming up. I don't know. Tough to tell, but things are okay. We're in early summer now. Things are coming up, guys. It's going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. I promise. I know it's weird out there right now. It's weird in here, too. But things are going to be right. Anyways, set up the cabin. We'll take a look around. I've got a small little project to take care of. And we've got some fertilizing to do today. And, well, I've, I've kind of spent a whole bunch of money once again. We'll talk about that later. Anyways, I got my trusty chainsaw. We've got a project to go to. Let's do this thing. Bitter batter. <laughs> Go through the weeds. Perfect. She's so dark up here still. I mean, it's 6.30 in the morning, so we're a little bit early, but I wanted to get an early start to the other day. Oh, hammer down, down the hill. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Nice. We're almost there. This is the last couple uh, couple twisties here, I think, before we get to the cabin. Uh, yeah. Clutch his legs right up here. We'll see if we can figure out where the heck the cabin is around here somewhere and uh so project for the day wow we've got some lumber i gotta cut down quickly just something quickly we had that all that lumber we cut down when we uh built the house and i'm gonna be using that as well but there's a few other things we need to build out here well you guys kind of noticed what was missing oh there's the cabin there it is sweet all right let's pull on in we haven't been up here much at all yet uh not much work has happened up here at all guys but Cabin's looking pretty good. I'm pretty stoked about this cabin. Oh man, I just want to. I just want to come out here and hang out. I don't want to do anything else. Look at this. I mean, you pull up. You're at the lake. Uh, I need to get the boat just out here permanently. I think uh, maybe like a little small shed of some sort is what we need. And the cabin. I mean, this is this is this is the life up here. I'm telling you. Um. Anyways, so what we're doing today? Well, guys. You know what? You look around the house and there's no other rooms in here, is there? It's a kitchen and a bedroom. Um, we didn't put a bathroom in it. <laughs> no bathroom! So I need to take care of that today. And, well, we'll just build a little outhouse. How's that sound? So uh, I'm going to go cut some wood up, get some more boards. We got some of the wood on the back, but let me see here. Maybe back here, we'll put a little outhouse someplace, like just off his landing down in the woods a bit. That might be okay. Uh, let me go down the far side. We've got some wood down below, I think, here. And we'll just cut up a little bit more. And I know we had some boards brought up as well. But uh, yeah, there's some wood down below there. So we'll cut some stuff up. And we've got some boards that are around the back. Maybe Actually, you know what? I put them down in the little shed down there. That's right. we got the boards down below there. We'll bring those up and get this outhouse done first thing today. Won't take us too long. It's a pretty minor build. Uh, and in fact, I've got a shovel. We're going to dig a hole. Oh, good times. Good times. Oh, man. All right. Hole is dug already. That's the, 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 the hard part, I think. Um, so I'm just going to kind of dig this out a little bit more. <laughs> what I don't want to have happen is everything to drain out of this and then into the lake. Um, that, that's not really what I want to have happen. So we've got to make sure we keep this all contained and not get down to this little valley down here. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. <laughs> That's a thing we need to think about. Um, it's not like there's going to be that many people out here. Let's be honest. It's going to be like maybe four people maximum in the cabin. So it's not like it's going to get that much use. But I do not want to be putting that directly in the lake. That's that's not cool. And I need to cut a couple of pieces of wood up for some supports. Like I said, I got the planks for the round parts of the, uh, of the outhouse. But I'll need a couple of these just to go as far as the frame goes. So uh, I need to just cut off the edge of these. There we go. And just get the edges so they're all kind of cut clean. Perfect. And then we'll cut this. Let me see here. I need seven feet. Seven feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right there. 
And oh, seven is almost perfect. Look at that. Okay, right there. All right, guys. So there's two of the two of them. I need two more of these. So we've got two. Uh, I've got another piece of wood. I could use this one. That's only going to be seven feet. I think we've got another one on the far side. We'll cut that up as well. Let's actually do this one while we're sitting right here, thinking about it. If I can cut this limb off. There we go. That's better. Perfect. And we'll just cut the last little piece off because that's going to be about seven feet right there. Excellent. And we'll get the last piece and uh, start building this frame. I got to go down to the horse shed and pick up the uh, the, the rest of this uh, the planking, guys. All right, guys, we've got uh, the outhouses done. In fact, I had a bunch of rock left over from the front of the driveway. I just kind of made a little path down here. It looks like garbage. I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy with it at all, but it's a path. So maybe someday we'll get a dock right there. Oh, that'd be so, oh, that'd be perfect. We'll maybe a little dock of some sort. I don't know yet. We'll figure something out. But uh, as for now, there it is. There's the outhouse. Look at that. Uh, yeah. It, do you, anyone need to go, go to the washroom? Sorry. Like I said, we had some old planks in there. Just needed to find a way to set it all together. Um, I mean, it's not four-star accommodation, but there's some old newspaper you can read in there, and we got we've got toilet paper. Don't worry about that, at least. So yeah, I mean, it's better. Is it better? I don't think it's better at all. Anyways, we had to fill in the back. So the back's been filled in. There's nothing going to seep down into the lake at least. All right, mission accomplished. And then you can maybe wash your hands out here. I don't, why did we put a bathroom in the house? We got running water. What? Never mind. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, uh, that's all I needed to do up here, guys. Let's head back down to the farmhouse and uh, get some work done. We've got some fields to fertilize. And I got a new toy to show you. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, guys, back at the farm. Everything's looking good. This this lawn chair. It's usually I don't understand what's going on. Is someone pulling a prank on me? So this white lawn chair, guys, is usually over with. Well, you can see the lawn chair is over by the shed right there. Every time I come back home, this lawn chair is somewhere out in the driveway here, all by its lonesome. I don't know how it gets out here. It's like maybe one of the pigs. But I swear, and I can't pick it up. I can't seem to move this lawn chair. I, I can kind of kick it along. <laughs> but that's all I could do. And it ends up out in the middle of the road here every single time. I feel like I'm getting pranked. Like, who's around here? <laughs> Hello? I don't know what's going on. It's kind of creeped me out. Anyways, um, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll watch for that next time. Anyways, we got some fertilizing to do. We got our fields. Like I said, they're starting to come up. It looks good. It looks good. And how am I going to do that? Well, we've done slurry for one stage. We got something else. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, there we go. That's right. I picked up a sprayer, guys. We didn't have a proper sprayer. I thought I was going with a trailer sprayer. And then I'm like, you know what? We're making cash. We're making bank. Uh, 350000 bucks. Yeah, we can afford this after all the milk we've been selling. Not a problem. In fact, I didn't tell you guys about this, but uh, the, the slurry we took up to the BGA paid out. We got another 25 grand for that. So there's that as well. Not bad. Anyways, we got our John Deere. What is it? 4045? I think it's 4045. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah, 4045 sprayer. The R4045. Yeah, not bad, guys. So this is going to be what we're going to use right now. We're going to go do some spraying. Give us a quick test. We just brought this over from the uh, the shop the other day. Well, it's it cost us quite a bit. You know, it's definitely not cheap. Oh, we're making so much money. We're good. We're all good. I need to save up from now on, though. Remind me, guys. Clutch, save money. Because uh, we need to buy a combine. Remind me to save my money, please. Because I really want to spend it all. And as for the loan, yeah, I haven't even tried to bother paying any of that off. It's... Don't worry about it. We're, we're good for it. We're good. We're definitely good for that, guys. <laughs> um, so I didn't have any other pellet fertilizer left, you guys. Well, we used most of it up. Uh, we still had, I think, maybe 2,000 liters. I probably could have used the rest of it. But I figure... You know what? Let's spray instead. So we've got, uh, we've got, what is it? Liquid fertilizer right in this tank. We can use that. How much do we have in here? Now, this is something I need to figure out. I picked up one of these little devices here. And I think they can tell you how much you got in here. Liquid fertilizer, 5,000 liters. Perfect. That does work. That's cool. Okay. So we got 5,000 liters of fertilizer in there that we can, uh, we can load up with guys. Let's get this nice and close then. There we go, and we'll start filling that all up. Excellent. Look at that. All right, guys, we're getting some fertilizer in there. Let's see here. 
cool. That works. I, I had no idea. That's fantastic. That is very cool. Anyways, so we're getting fertilizer into the uh, into the tank. And uh, let's go spray some fields. We've got our wheat and barley fields right here. Then we got our cornfield across the way. Then we got our new soybean field. We did the other day up on the hillside as well. We've got a lot of spraying to do, but this is going to make easy work of all of it. All right, guys, we're full up on uh, local fertilizer. That only gave us 50% of our tank. I was surprised at the size of this tank. This tank is actually pretty big on this thing. Uh, so we got almost 5,000 liters in here. We'll see how much of this lands uh, ends up giving us. But guys, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. So uh, we're out of liquid fertilizer, mind you. So there's that that I have to kind of think about, I guess, as well. Uh, yeah. Anyways, whatever. It is what it is. Let's uh, jump in here. And we'll start spraying. Let me see if I can pull this right alongside. Open this on up. And see, that's nice. Everything goes above the fence posts on this unit. I can kind of just set it up as long as it doesn't drop down. It stays up nice and high. Good. Now we should be able to drop this. Yeah, we can. Those are the controls for dropping it down. I'm going to leave it up nice and high until we get into the field here. Something along right here. And from here, we do need... I want to set up our GPS on this as well. Um, yeah, I want to make sure I get this set up because I am horrible at figuring out what I've sprayed and what I haven't. So I'm just trying to get this thing all kind of narrowed away here. In a nice little spot. Perfect. Okay, yeah, let's turn our GPS on. So there's that part. And we'll figure this out. And fire it up. I think we're good to go. Need to set our path up a little bit, but we should be good. All right, let's do this. Game on. Perfect. Engage GPS. And we should be good to go now. And oh, we can go at a pretty quick place. 21 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. So, how much fertilizer are we going to use? Can I get through all these fields on this side? Uh, can I get through these two before we get around the far side? That is going to be the question. Guys, I have no clue. I really don't. And turn it off. Yeah, I really don't know if it's going to be enough or not. Oh, bad. Uh, is this going to hit that fence? Can I lift up anymore? All the way to the top? That's as far as it goes. Now yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. GPS back on. Let's see. That doesn't look right to me, I think. I don't think that is going to be right. I think I need to finagle this a bit more. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, I just had to find out the right spot on that. And fire this back up. And away we go. GPS engaged. That looks like it's a perfect spot. Excellent. And once again, back up to 21 miles an hour. Let's cook it. <laughs> first day, first day, first day, first day. <laughs> Love it. So quick. Just flies to the fields. All right, the small field's done. That was quick. Uh, we used 10% of our, of our, of our uh, product. Only 10%. Huh. And the turning radius on this thing is absolutely amazing. You guys see that? Just kind of cranked around the corner. No problems. It's like it wasn't even there. All right, we're going to set the GPS back up on this one as well. Let's uh, get this kind of situated. Situated. Uh, right about there should be good. Perfect. All right, let's set up our entry area. Looks like it's going to be good right about that. Pretty happy. Everything looks lined up for the most part. Excellent. We'll set it back up there and fire it up. All right, guys. GPS is back enabled. We should be good. So it shouldn't take us what, three, maybe four passes to get up to the top. Uh, that'll be quick. It'll be quick. This is this is the way to do some fertilizing. Um, I didn't mind doing the pellets beforehand, but this... Yeah, the cost might be a little bit more, though. Let's be perfectly honest. I think we paid like 50000 for the fertilizer spreader. Now this one here is like 350 So, well, you can you can do the math on that, whether that's worth it or not. Oh, better not get into traffic here. Shut this off. There we go. Ooh, a little close to traffic. <laughs> Over the fence slide onto the road. Don't worry. I, I just uh, fertilized the road for you guys. You guys can go super fast on that road now. Super fast. Well, that was easy. Uh, we are done already. Both these fields fully fertilized. Let's head across and do the cornfield. I'm tempted to do the alfalfa and the grass as well, but uh, we'll see how much we got left. Um, we're going to need to get a load, let's be honest. I'm definitely going to need to make a run and go grab some more. Yeah, she's got 20% left in the tanks. We used half of that on those fields. I might be able to get through the cornfield. 
but I might not either. Uh, it's kind of hit and miss. It's possible we'll get through it, but there's just as good of a chance that we won't. So, uh, tell you what, let's go quickly make a load. Uh, get a load of uh, fertilizer. We'll just go pick it up, bring it back, and then we should be good, actually. Having a full tank. Yeah, it should be enough. I'm thinking it'll be enough. I don't think we'll need to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Let me get this hole loaded up. Come on. Come on, grab onto that thing. Right there. The little tank. It looks so funny on this truck. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're good to go. There we go. Off to the races. Let's go get some more uh, some more fertilizer, guys. <laughs> get a little tank. Guys, I absolutely love county grain here. County grain is absolutely amazing. Uh, you can get seed here. We usually get bales even down below, but like down here, we've got herbicide, we've got fertilizer, you've got seed, you got lime, you've got... I can't even think what else. You've got absolutely everything down here. Such a good setup. All right, fertilizer is the first one. That's the Roundup's the herbicide. Uh, this is... Some of gold is our fertilizer. Let's get this loaded up. Liquid fertilizer. There we go. We'll load this right on up. It's such a good system, guys. I mean... Yeah, all underneath and then up on top like i said fertilizer the pellet stuff is all up there as well seeds it's so cool i love it down here this is such a great setup and let's not forget the anhydrous that's down here as well if we ever got to use anhydrous maybe next year maybe next year i'll buy some equipment that can use anhydrous uh we'll go go to town planting corn that might be something to be kind of cool there we go full load fertilizer in the tank we should have enough at least well what we should have enough to get back to this one as well as the soybean field up at the top uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have enough for both. We got a little bit of a trek down the highway now. I'm always nervous with these. Have you ever see what, someone drive one of these down the highway? Are you ever tempted to try to scoot through underneath them? Like just go right underneath. Um, I think I had one car. I think I had an old Camaro back in the day. I'm pretty sure I could have done it. I'm, I'm in my motorbike. Actually, I got my bikes. I should be able to do it on the bike as well. I'm always tempted to try it. I think I've seen a video once of someone doing it on a, like a street bike. Uh, it'd be interesting to be sitting in one and all of a sudden have someone come like flying up underneath you and off into the distance. <laughs> I don't even know if I'd be mad. You can see the creek has receded back down to its regular levels. And, well, our cornfield looks like it's doing okay considering, I mean, water wasn't up here, but we did have water down in this low spot down here. And it seems like it's been fine. There's a, oh, we got a little bit of a patch up there. But that's the worst of it, guys. So, all in all, I think we came out kind of scot-free with that. Not bad. I was worried about that. I didn't think we would do so well, but you know what? Everything's coming up. Everything's coming up clutch. All right. Zip this in. Excellent. Right about there. Give or take. And fire it up. All right. I think we've got it engaged, right? I mean, I've got that engaged. I, th I think I do. There we go. Everything's engaged now. That's better. And now the problem is this this feels a bit of a pain because it's not square. So I've got to kind of Mickey Mouse myself around to the right side here. Just go on up the edge. And then uh, once we're there, I'll, I'll reset this and spin it around. Not, not exact. It's not precise, unfortunately. But I think we've got her nailed. Look at that. Looking good. Looking good. We're going to set that cruise back on. Um, yeah, things are looking good, guys. Look at this. No problems at all. So I've got this field here, and then we're up on the hillside as well. We've got one more big field up there. The one, the new field we just bought, the soybeans. We'll do that one as well today. But things are looking good here. Oh, let's see if I can get this around. Right up to the edge. Turn this off before we spray the highways. That's always nice. No cars coming, right? Okay. <laughs> good thing. Because considering I've already got it over the road, that's uh, a good thing. Engage this. Turn this on. And let go of the controls, and there she goes. GPS engaged. Awesome. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for us today from Georgetown. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, as always. Uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Drop a comment down below. Hey, come and say hi to me. I appreciate you guys saying hi in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you missed, anything I'm doing wrong, let me know down there as well. Or just say hello, Clutch. What's going on, man? Uh, if you did enjoy, of course, slap that like. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will catch you folks next time. Have a fantastic day, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you whenever we get this fertilizing done. And we'll figure out what to do next time. See you guys. Have a great day.